Can we prove that 1 over sine squared plus 1 over cos squared is the same as 1 over sine squared times cos squared? Well, I know we can, but let me prove it to you. We need to combine these two fractions to become a single larger fraction. The only way that we can combine fractions by addition is getting a common denominator. In order to get a cos squared built in here, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by cos squared. This first fraction becomes cos squared over the sine squared is still there, and we have an additional cos squared. So top and bottom got multiplied by cos squared theta. Over here, we're missing sine squared theta, so we're going to do something similar. This is sine squared over cos squared times sine squared. Now these two bottoms are the same even though they're written in a different order, just like 5 times 4 is the same as 4 times 5. So to combine the fractions, now that they have a common denominator, I can do top plus top, that's cos squared plus sine squared, all over and the bottoms were the same, so it was sine squared theta cos squared theta. Now, if you don't know where we're going from here, I want you to look at the answer we're looking for. The bottoms already match, but the top needs to become 1. Oh, great, because sine squared plus cos squared is always equal to 1. That's the Pythagorean identity. And as soon as we do that replacement, we're done. That left-hand side has been manipulated to become the right-hand side. And so, to celebrate, we say the left side equals the right side, and 1 over sine squared theta plus 1 over cos squared theta is equal to 1 over sine squared theta cos squared theta. Nice. Not bad. Kind of counterintuitive that... The sum of the reciprocals is the reciprocal of the product. Hey, trig is funny sometimes. Best of luck to you.